Yo, welcome back to Dot TV. It's your girl Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and thumbs up. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag Da Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin, okay? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up for me? Shaggy Bam. Bam. Need it or somewhere, bam. Whoosh. Bam. All right, but we lit, y'all. Um. Sorry I didn't post all last week, y'all. It was a little. It was a little. It was a little, you know. Shink, dink, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? But, you guys. We are things to do today. All right? This is what we need to do today. We need to... Go to the dealership because your girl need a car, all right? I've been driving my mama car. I love my mama to pieces, but your girl need a car, okay? Um, I swear, every time I start recording, y'all don't realize my phone be ringing. And then, um... Hi, boo-boo! Hi, boo-boo! Hey, baby. Hey, Schnuckums. Hi, baby. Oh, I miss you. Don't be, don't be talking to my baby like that. Y'all, look, it's my nephew, y'all. Hi. Okay, hold on real quick, Rob. So, but your girl need a car, okay? I need a vehicle because we, we, we can't continue like this. And then we need to go to the storage um, and get linens for my cousin's wife birthday dinner tomorrow. My cousin is trying to pull me out of retirement with decor, right? Um, with party planning. So, with that being said, um, but right now we're about to run into Publix and we about to check our weight uh, cause we need to know how much we weight y'all because y'all know um, the last 21 days in March we're gonna pray fast speak believe um, for uh, before we enter into the second quarter right because this is the year of excellency and this is the year of the supernatural okay so um yeah let's go go ahead and go check our weight y'all <laughs> Ooh, last time i weighed myself i was like 273 because that ain't good that ain't good but let's go we are 269 cousins we are 269 here go my niece y'all say hi, hi. <laughs> yeah yeah, cousins, we are 269. My God, we got to get to 240. Where we at? There we go. All right. Yeah, we got to get down to 240. So in those 21 days, for me personally, I do no type of fast food. No Wendy's, no McDonald's, no Burger King, no Miami subs. Because, yeah, I don't eat none of those things. And I do no red, I do no type of red meat, no soda, no candy, no chips. So pray for me. But let me go talk to my peoples. I will see you when we get to the car lot. Why did it start raining out of nowhere? Yay. Why is it raining? Why is it raining? Why? Can you please tell me why? Oh yeah. All right, y'all. So it started raining, but uh, but um, it started raining, so it throws me. But let's go ahead and go get these linens for tomorrow. 
and um, yeah started raining while I was driving y'all and I'm sorry I'm not finna walk in the rain I'm not finna do it okay y'all so I made it to Kia um remember I said I do not know what type of vehicle that I want yet I'm not um how can I say this from I don't want to say it doesn't matter for me I just want to be realistic right and as for me as uh, as long as the car meets everything that I need in a vehicle right besides getting me from point A to point Z you know what I'm saying I'm cool as long as it look nice however my I don't want to say my dream car but I do want my first luxury car um I'm gonna put it like this luxury luxury car to be uh, will be a Benz right so I'm just being transparent I really don't know what I want um for those of you that knew um I used to have a 2000 17 Kia Forte, right? I used to have a 2017, uh, yeah, 2017 Kia Forte. Um, however, um, I did let that car go. Um, it had too many uh, mechanical problems, um, and one of the pieces I needed to fix the car. They no longer, they didn't no longer have that piece because they changed um, how they, you know, structured their car. So that piece was like no longer in network and not even the junkyard that had other Kia Fortes um, was able to um, was not even able to. I don't want to say able. They didn't have the piece. So I ended up letting it die. Um, her name was Genesis, y'all. And then, of course, y'all know that I was renting um, the... I was renting the Chevrolet Bolt, the Chevy Bolt, um, through Uber because I was doing... Excuse me. Because I was doing Uber, and y'all know I had to keep making my money, right? So with that being said, um, I've been using my mom's car now this is where it gets very interesting because y'all know i'm very big on faith right and y'all have heard me said before that you can have a lot of faith in one area and lack faith in another and for me when it comes to vehicles i don't know what it is i just lack the faith but then it's when i get frustrated or i get tired of my situation or i'll get i'll be angry about something right is when i'll make a decision to get up and just go get a car and but this time around i'm intentional because the very first car that i bought um was don't judge me judge your big toe period um it was the uh pt cruiser um it was one of those limited editions i had a pt cruiser then um that car ended up going and then no y'all my very first 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 car that i purchased from a major dealership was a 2008 nissan altima that's when they first that's when they just recently changed the bodies of the car and because of lack of a uh, stewardship my car didn't get repo then um i went four years without a vehicle I went four years without a vehicle, but I was using my mom's car. And one day, my mom got me so mad, y'all. Okay, mind you, been using a car, keep up with a car, putting gas in the car, you know, just, you know. And I remember one time, I'm like, all right. I knew I wanted to go out that day, so I was like, let me not OD in case, you know, old girl got some errands to run or whoop the whoop. So, you know, the car was clean and the tank was full because i was going out later that day listen y'all i started to get ready my mom like oh where you going i'm not going such, such. she's like oh you're not going in my car y'all when i said i was big mad i was big mad and then so the next day what i did was 
<laughs> I took the bus and went to go get me a car and that's when I got the PT Cruiser. That's when I got the PT Cruiser. Years later, years go by, the PT Cruiser dies, basically. And um, no, I was going through a lot. Yeah, I was going through a lot. And then I end up letting the car go, so they came and repo the vehicle, right? Um, then I went another four years without a car, and that's when I was with my daughter's father. And I remember praying, asking God, like, oh, if I get the Nissan Altima again, God, I would take care of it and whoop the whoop. So when I started dating my father's daughter at the time, he had the 2008 ultima mine at the time was smoke gray but his was silver so i had i was of course driving his car and i took care of the car like i said because i remember one time i was driving and the lord brought it back to my remembrance what i said so then when i moved when i end up moving um out of uh you know south florida i moved towards central florida um I needed a vehicle where I lived at because baby the way them buses was running it was not working for your girl and I remember I just lost my job <laughs> I had just lost my job and then um, I did apply for another job but I needed a car Angela was like four months four or five months at the time almost six months and I remember we was at the Kia and then no my friend was at infinity and she seen that Kia was having a sale and she whipped into the parking lot okay and she said we get your car today sitting there they did everything and it was like I need a co-signer my mom couldn't co-sign for me because she was in the process of looking for a house right so I asked my you know ex-husband at the time and he was like oh no you just lost your job there's no wisdom in that and blah 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 y'all i just sat there and i just kept on praying i just kept on praying i just kept on praying i would say like 20 minutes later um he ended up calling me back and he was like i apologize or whatever um he was just like yeah i'll co-sign so got off the phone the they sent somebody to drive down for him to sign the paperwork My, and mind y'all y'all i'm sorry i should have told y'all quick story time so mind y'all i'm sitting there right and as i'm sitting there um i kept praying i'm like okay thank you lord so now the guy kept asking me to put money down i said no i'm not putting nothing down like i'm not putting no money down mind you this was prophesied that i would get a car with no money down so fast forward um the guy was just like can you put anything down i was like nope not putting nothing down so I ended up getting a 2017 uh, Kia Forte at the end of 2016, right? And when I when I when I when I got the vehicle, mind you, I was still there. I was praying, praying, and then I get a phone call. And when I got the phone call out of nowhere, it was every time I started talking to y'all. Every time. Hello. Um, so fast forward, um, I'm sitting there and then I got another phone call, excuse me. I got another phone call and it was the job that I applied for, which was Wells Fargo and they offered me a job. So not only did I, not only did I get a car that day, but I also got a job. So now fast forward like i said i let go the that very car that same car um i just had to let it die because you know they didn't make that piece no more i didn't think about training it in or anything like that because it didn't have a balance and my ex-husband name was still tied to the vehicle and i didn't want the vehicle no more because i'm like the only affiliation that i need to have with this man is in reference to our daughter so but i needed to let that car go and it was i not neither did i want to refinance it because i wanted everything new so now fast forward i am at a place where i am tired of using my mother's car right i'm grateful don't get me wrong i'm grateful but um yeah so now we are here and let's go look at some cars because i don't know if i want to do electric or um i don't know if i want to do electric or 
if I want to do gas because I know that eventually we're going towards the electric side but um, I want to have gas just in case because there are not charging ports anywhere right so yeah so now we are here let me put my phone on side and All right, so we're just gonna look because um, somebody just walked right past me and didn't even greet me. But, um, so I think I'm just going to turn around and go because I thought that was rude. You could at least walk by, hey, somebody will be right with you, but okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm just looking. I don't know if you guys have an outside lot or is it everything inside? Uh, we have cars outside. Okay, I'll look outside. Thank you. So, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know which route I want to go yet because I was really filling the electric car um, and it was definitely a money saver because it was, um, it was, um, how many cents? 48 cents. It was 48 cents um, per kilowatts. So, with that being said, um, oh, this is nice. I think it's the Optima. So, like, Nobody on our level. Drawing you in bezels, I'm taking care of your best. I'm busy with cupids, you still get all of my time. On my mind, hit my line, you so fine, you my lifeline. You make me feel like I can do anything. So much sunshine in my life, and I draw that joy. Taking that chance, wanna be a man. Oh, I, I can't wait a minute more. Said I'm going off the deep. Said I'm going off the deep. End. Are you ready? Am I ready to be more than friends? I need more than just a weekend Me and you the perfect defense They sleep in Baby, I'm ready, you ain't nobody's secret no. I know I said I would keep it Baby, Baby we, we can take it slow Feeling you giving Was more than intended Can do no pretending I love everything about your vibe At first we typed in Don't leave me seeking Just give me a reason Reason to trust again I'm all in on safety Locked in with no key I can't wait a minute more. Said I'm going off the deep end. Said I'm going off the deep end. Are you ready? Am I ready to be more than friends? Hey, I need more than just a weekend. Me and you the perfect defense. They sleeping. I think that's their selection, that's it. So, but you know, I'm about to leave, right? I'm very big on customer service. And I'm about to play this back because I know I asked a question, but homeboy ain't even say somebody will be right with you. Or, you know, I can get somebody to assist you or anything of that nature. But I'm just proud of myself for actually coming because normally I freeze up, y'all.
Y'all, what did I do with my keys? Cause I just wanna do my fucking key. Yeah, guys. Um, yeah. I'm leaving. Cause y'all we made it to Acura um whatchamacallit is next door Hyundai is next door they look like they got some nice uh selections here and different um varieties right so Let's see where we can begin because I really don't know where to begin. I can do anything. So much sunshine in my life when I draw that jewelry. Taking that chance, wanna be a man. Oh, I, I can't wait a minute more. Said I'm going off the deep. Said I'm going off the deep end. Are you ready? Am I ready to be more than? Now that's customer service, y'all, because uh, y'all heard me say how long I've been here. Y'all been walking with me, and sorry guys, I can't put Brian on camera. He's a married man, okay? And y'all not gonna get me beat up by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're gonna go to the back for the other inventory. So, we'll be back. I can't wait a 
don't mean it more Said I'm going off the